This is Neil Schneider for Men To Be Seen. Welcome back to CES. It's CES 2018. It's going to be an amazing year for future computing. To my immediate right is Dr. Is Dr. Nori Miyachi. He, he, he is business development manager for a company called QD Laser. Welcome to the program. Thank you. So tell us, why don't you hold these glasses up? Tell us what do they do? Yeah, this is kind of a hand mount display that has a miniature projector inside the frame. And uh, it project the image directly to the retina. Can you explain why this is special? Like, I mean, there's all kinds of head-mounted displays. Yeah. What do you mean by projecting directly into yes. the retina? So since the image is on the retina, you don't need to use your focusing ability to see the image. In other words, if you have short-sightedness, far-sightedness, astigmatism, it doesn't matter. You always see the clear image by the retinal projection. So that is a special. It, 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 without going into too many words, how is it possible to project directly on the retina and get through the lens without any distortion? Like, what's is there a complete different projection technique? Yes, uh, as a conventional display has a screen in front of you, so you have to see it, you have to focus it. But uh, re by uh, retinal projection, retinal scanning projection, uh, you don't need use your focusing ability. So that's a total difference uh, between the, the conventional device. Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, there, there's going to be some really exciting applications for this. Before we get into that, though, I'd like to learn, tell me a little bit about the specs. I mean, is there, what's the field yeah. of view, resolution? What's it capable of? Yeah. Currently, the display is a monoocular type, only one eye. And uh, it has a 25 degrees horizontal field of view. And the uh, resolution is around 720p equivalent, 1280 and 720 at 60 hertz. And this is, I take it this is a starting point. Is it, mm -hmm. is it capable of more? Have yeah. you experimented with even higher resolutions? Yeah. Sure. Uh, we have, uh, uh, we already started the uh, uh, development of the next generation model. And it goes maybe 1080p or something like that, yeah. Okay, so let's talk, I mean, as exciting as the technology is, I think it, what's even more excite, exciting are, are the applications for this. Yeah. So wh where do you see this you know, going? Okay, the ultimate goal of the device is to support the people with visual impairment. Some kind of uh, people with visual impairment has a working retina. To the tragedy, uh, they have some disorder in the anterior part, like a cornea or a lens, so they can focus. They cannot focus the image. But the uh, retinal projection can skip the disorder in the anterior part of the eyes, so they can see the world again. So, okay, so this version here, mm -hmm. I mean, I just saw a screen, mm -hmm. but I, I, there's another version, yes. we'll, go, we'll show a picture yes. of it, where it's got a camera in front. Yes. Can you elaborate a little more as to how that works? Okay, so we'll be uh, developing the uh, camera integrated model, so you can see the camera captured image in front of you. So oh, it, it works as a, like uh, active type corrective glasses, so you see the camera captured image without focusing. And what type of life, and what I mean by this is if people are struggling with their vision today, mm -hmm. do you think this is going to introduce the abilities like being able to drive again? Like, is it, like how far do you think this could go? Yeah, of course it takes some years or something like that uh, to enable the uh, people to drive or to walk around, but uh, it definitely on the roadmap of us. Okay, very good. Now, it's not just the glasses. You've got a silver box there. Yes. What's the box for? Yeah, it's a controller box. It contains a laser. Yeah, it contains a laser, batteries, and uh, processors. So, oh, the two device is in one. <laughs> okay, so it is part of the product? Is yes. it? Okay, very good, very good. So, w when will this be available? Uh, in Japan, we will start selling this device in the late summer this year, uh, and uh, maybe followed by the uh, rest of the world, including the United States. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Very exciting stuff. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is Neil Schneider for Meant to be Seen at CES 2018. We will, of course, be back with more. Thank you for watching.